Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has started work to integrate the hammer air to ground missile on Tejas fighter jets. HAL has completed shroud separation on the hammer missile, that will pave the way for the upcoming trials of the hammer missiles, which will assess their performance and integration with the Tejas fighter jets. As the Tejas aircraft is being deployed at forward bases, the addition of hammer missiles will boost its strike capabilities in high-altitude mountainous regions such as eastern Ladakh. The Philippine Navy is considering the procurement of French-developed Scorpion-class submarines, and a team of Philippine Navy specialists recently visited the facilities of the Naval Group in France. Latest reports indicate that Philippines is exploring the option of locally constructing these submarines under a license agreement, and Mazigan dock shipbuilders could play a pivotal role in supporting the Philippine submarine construction program. Mazigan dock shipbuilders could prove invaluable in providing logistical support and training for the crew that will be tasked with constructing and operating these submarines. Israeli firm Skylock had partnered with India's DCM Shri Ram Industries Limited to manufacture the VIP Dome Pro in India under the name DCM Portable Counter Unmanned Aircraft Vehicle System. Manufacturing work started in 2022, and DCM Shri Ram is currently in the process of testing the system's radio frequency detector and jammer with the Indian Border Security Force on the Western Front. It is a plug-and-play system that utilizes line-of-sight sensor technology to detect and mitigate enemy drones invading an assigned perimeter. The Archer NG armed drone is all set to be rolled out later this year, which is designed to carry a payload of up to 300 kg on its four hard points, for which the DRDO has lined up a diverse range of weapon systems to make it a potent combat UAV that includes 6 km and 4 km range variants of third-generation UAV launched precision-guided anti-tank munition, 100 km range smart anti-airfield weapon, laser-guided munitions and gliding munitions. The DRDO also plans to collaborate with private sector companies to develop a many air launched cruise missile to take on highly defended targets from long standoff ranges. The Indian Air Force has started integrating artificial intelligence into its machine planning systems, and is adopting virtual reality simulations for training cadets. The fighter pilots undergoing stage 2 training are benefiting from hands-on training while wearing virtual reality headsets, that provide trainee cadets with a 360-degree view of the flying experience, immersing them in a simulated environment, which has proven to be highly effective and cost-efficient. During the visit of Russian Defense Minister to Pyongyang, North Korea unveiled two new unmanned aerial vehicles, which completely resembles the American MQ-9 Reaper and the Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk. The two drones had serial numbers painted on the sides, potentially indicating that both drones are in service. Oh,